is the E MOSFET, this is the gate terminal J and this is the source. Place the E MOSFET on the breadboard such that the north faces in the front. Connect gate terminal, the positive terminal of the DC supply. negative terminal of the DC supply to the ground. From the drain terminal connect it to negative terminal of the milliameter. will connect wire bound resistor to the positive terminal of the ammeter. From the other end of the resistor connect it to the positive terminal of the VDS. And negative terminal of the VDS to the ground. VDS to the ground. Then connect source to the ground. Switch on the power supply and set VGS is equal to 5 volts as the constant. And vary the VDS values. First set it to 0.5 and then note down the corresponding V-ring from the milliameter. So here it's pointing at third division. One division is equal to 2 milliamps. So the current for 0.5 volts will be 6 milliamps. Again vary it to 1 volt Here the corresponding reading will point to its 4th division So the current will be 8 milliamps Again vary it to 1.5 volt Here it's pointing at 6th division, so it, the current will be 12 milliamps. Next, vary it to 2 volts. And it's pointing at 7th division, and it is 14 milliamps. Again, vary it to 2.5. Here the corresponding reading shows 20 milliamps. Again vary it to 3 volts and here it shows 11th division that is 22 milliamps. Keep on varying VDS in terms of 0.5 till you get the constant current. For the next trial set VGS as uh, 7 volts as the constant and repeat the same procedure for the transconduction. Keep VDS constant as 5 volts. Very VGS till you get
get a deflection in the milliampere. So at 3.6, you can see a deflection in the milliampere pointing at 18. Now keep varying VGS in terms of 0.2 and take the reading up till you get saturation point. On further increments, we see no deflection. So 4.3 is the point of saturation on further increments. For the next trial, set VGS constant as 7 and 10 and vary VGS in terms of 0.2 till you get the saturation point and plot the graph. Calculating drain resistance and transconductance from these two graphs, for drain characteristics, Rd is equal to delta VDS by delta ID and for the transconductance, Gm is equal to delta ID by delta VGS and therefore mu is equal to Rd into Gm. Mu is the amplification factor, Rd is the drain resistance and Gm is the transconductance.